you are learning power bi and you want to learn advanced concepts you want to know how to apply the concept you have learned as a beginner in power bi then this is the series for you so watch this complete series know how various concepts can be applied to achieve different different results subscribe to the channel hello and welcome to another episode on abstract thesis series and in today's video we are going to discuss how can we create common tables for the tables having many to many relationships using power query now we have done the same exercise in the dax in the past now today we are going to use power query for that so let's look at the data so i have this data data 1 and data 2 now data 1 has item category date and sales data 2 also has item 1 category date and it has purchase now item category is the common and for date we can create a date table either we can create a date table in power query or we can create in dax on my channel you will be able to find out the script for that we are going to use some quick script here to do that now let's go to power bi and do that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take these tables and copy paste them using edit data and that too i'm going to do that complete exercise in power query so using the home tab transform data i open the power query and in the power query in the home tab i have enter data again option is there and i do this and i call it as data one table okay now i created data one table so i got the data now i go ahead and bring in data two let's first of all create these tables and i go to power query again and i paste this data into enter data option is there in the home tab now we have the two tables now i need item a common item table now one of the way is that you know i right click on the item and i say add as new query and then so i'll get it only for one table okay so right now i'll tell you the method without using any code so i say convert to table i okay and i'll say okay so i got this one and i can let it be column one isn't it now i go to so i created it from i got the six rows so i created it from item 2 now let me go to uh, uh, data 1 i created that from data 2 now i am going to create it from data 1 so i go here and i say add as new query i got these five rows item 2 and i say two table so i got one more table now i go to item 1 which is my existing table and there what i'm going to do i'm going to append the data from that that table now i go and say append queries now i'm not going to use item 2 so what i'm going to do in the item 1 itself i'm going to append the item 2 so i append item 2 now i got a single table here now this table have duplicates and let me first now call it as item now i'm going to rename i have combined everything now now i'm going to rename it and it can have duplicate so and only one column no problem i can go to um, uh, remove rows and there i can say remove duplicates so duplicates are removed we only got the five uh, values which are unique so now this my item table is ready now i want the category table now for category let's try something different let's go to home tab new source blank query okay and right click open advanced editor or advanced editor so any column can be treated as a list and we have list dot combine list dot combine function is there let's try to use that list dot combine returns a single list by mul combining multiple list so what is my list my list is data 1 cat comma data 2 cat let's look at the names cat okay if the name is wrong then it might give error first let's return this list list dot combine so any column with the table name so table name and the column name in power query can be treated as a list so that's what we are trying to take the advantage of okay so error two arguments were passed we expect one okay let's see list 
let's double click and check first of all let me check the this is cat this is also cat okay now let's look at let's open the advanced editor and we need one argument so we need actually a list of list so we give a list and inside that it there should be a list so now let's say done now we got a list category category now option is convert to table and remove duplicate or there is option already here to remove duplicates we remove the duplicates from here now convert to table or one more thing let's do one more thing let's go back here actually go to advanced editor and you see this list dot distinct actually we could have done this list dot distinct here itself so we don't need to remove duplicate we don't need that step actually remove duplicate so we can ourselves write down list dot distinct and then we can return the source okay so we have say source list dot distinct and then combine and then one more parenthesis close so we got list dot distinct so list dot distinct is going to give you the distinct elements and then again i get the same list now i'll say two table and i'll say okay so this so preferably use this method okay so this if you can write down a little bit of code by using the list functions that would be really easy even if, in fact if you look at the code here see so uh, it actually repeated all the steps and then it has done it so it eventually bring in the complete table and then doing it so it's always better to you know use something like this which we have done okay so now we got it we can call it cat cat now what i can do is i can create a date table here we will create a simple date table so let's look at what kind of dates we have so we have all the dates from 2022 so we have another uh, we will take another uh, blank query so list blank query and let me go to advanced properties and we can say list dot dates okay so let's search what all this function required list dot dates so we go here and search power query list dot dates so let's look at the parameters which is required start date count and step and if you don't want to give count let's for simplicity we'll use count here we can take a duration difference and uh, we can uh, get the count from there okay so list dot date so we give start date which is date 2022 hyphen 0 hyphen 1 hyphen 1 we can use 0101 also duration let's take 365 days uh, sorry days so second argument is days uh, count of number number of count and third step is duration now duration is something which we are going to take uh, hash duration which is one day duration we are going to give 1 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0 so duration is days hour minute and second okay so list dot dates now this is duration ending this is date ending name let's see what is the function list dot dates okay date is wrong okay i'll tell you what what it need to be hash date power query we have hash date so we got all the dates now again this is a list and we can say convert to table now you can watch the other video where i created the complete calendar into power query i'll give the link so there you can actually go ahead and create all of the columns and let's call let's rename this so right click rename date you can could have double clicked here okay so now we got everything we which we need for model and we say close and apply and let's now look at how what is happening okay so now let's go ahead and look at so we got cat we got data 1 data 2 we got date we got item 1 we got item 2 now item 2 is something which i don't want so let me hide this i don't want item 2 it's part of my model let's look at data 1 is joined with item and data 2 is also joined with item now category we forgot to rename so let's do one thing and, and let's rename it there transform data again so category table let's call it cat 
and date column let's check out is it date or not it is also column one let's call it date okay so we corrected these two things in power query and we are going to say close and apply two tables are impacted they are applied now we got cat so we joined cat category with category one too many see or we have smartly detected this so we don't have to do now where is our date table and we have hidden that we don't want that should again it, it 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 is one to one it's coming one to one we have to change it okay so anyway sometime it may happen that when you bring in small data it it may make it one to one but always make it one to many single directional date table we should never do that okay again we connect it here it's one to many single directional now so our model is complete let's look at some visuals let's put bring in the things together and see that whether we are able to see the things together or not so i bring in item i bring in cat gree and i bring in date from the date table there is something wrong here let's see what is the problem okay let's look at the dates here okay date column is not marked as a date column and that is why we were not getting mark as date table so let's make it as a date so now let's say mark as date table date table date now correct dates are coming then we can get sales and we can also get purchase from other table let's increase the size little bit see we have this global font size all the font size are increasing okay so now we got it so this is the power query method but we still have not used index and populated it back that's another method i have video in the beginner series which is there and we will also create a one video in the advanced series here that how can you do that so do let me know how do you like this video suggest in the comments what else you wanted to see in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you keep watching keep asking questions in comments subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you